everybody, it's Dr. Santa Man. I hope that all of you are doing great. Today we have a tarot first impressions uh, for a deck that I got a few weeks ago when I went to the Herkimer Gem Show, and it is the Rainbow Tarot. I'm obsessed with all the bright, warm, happy colors. This is the box, and it is by SO, or so. Um, and the Instagram handle for this person is Sonia Lazo. Right there. It says made with love. Love that. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. I think I've seen, I might have seen this deck before on social media, but I have never snatched it. So I finally have it. It does not come with a booklet. Not to say that it doesn't, that one doesn't exist, but this copy of it doesn't have it. Oh my god, I already love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so happy. Look at the back. It's so warm and fun. Got little skulls, pentacles, rainbows, little sunshine. And it's nice and matte. Oh, these are a nice texture. It's got little pomegranates, sorry. Oh, they're all mixed. Oh God, oh wait, no. Okay, they're in the wrong order. Let me put them in the right order. Okay, so a detail that I, I just noticed, are they all like this? Yes, okay, yes, they, the, oh, that's weird. Okay, so the minor arcana is listed entirely in English and the major arcana is all in French. So my bilingual ass is loving this. So uh, let's get started looking through it. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I just love the colors. They're so happy. Oh my gosh, so we have Le Fou or The Fool. I love this art style, it's so happy. The Bataleur, the Magician. <sighs> oh my God, I love this. I love the colors, I love the design. Oh, this deck is so happy. Imperatrice. Oh, this is so lovely. Love this interpretation of the Emperor. I like the kind of light red, it kind of helps the soft vibe of this tarot deck. Then we have Le Pop. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that this was going to be, in, in, that any of it was going to be in French. So, oh, we have some trans representation for Le uh, We have or the lovers. We have a trans man. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's so cool. We have uh, Le Chério. Oh. This is so cool. Oh my God, the colors for La Force, the strength. This is lovely, oh my gosh. I didn't know how much I was gonna like this. <laughs> Le Mit, the Hermit. La Rue de Fortune. This is stunning. La Justice. Oh my god. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, also, I don't know why, but the way I'm holding them feels nice in my hand. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. But yeah. Le Pendu. La Mort. Oh, I love the cards. I like how it's a wide spectrum of color, temperance, um, but there's still a limited palette on each card. I like that. We have the devil. That's very cool. <laughs> the way that they're falling. La Maison Dieu. Which is weird because I've seen this labeled as La Tour in other French decks. I don't know. Le Toile. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, this is so happy. La Lune. My heart is singing. <laughs> I'm so in love with this deck. La Soleil. Or Le Soleil. Sorry. Le jugement. Oh, this, 
I wonder if this was on purpose. I wonder if the first part being in French was on purpose. Or if like somebody mixed the two decks. I wonder if all copies of this are start off in French and go to English is what I'm wondering. Oh! And then, okay, I'm gonna save those for the end because I feel like those were meant for the end. Um, we'll get to those. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, it's so pretty. <clears throat> Two of Cups. Oh, this is so fun. Three of Cups, one of my favorite cards. I love that one of these ladies has hairy legs. Four of Cups. I knew I wanted this deck. I was just like, should I get it? I almost didn't. But I'm glad that I did. Oh, it just makes me spooky. <laughs> Eight of Cups. I'll get it. I'll get it. Nice, then we have the Ten of Cups, and I like how instead of children, it's a cat and a dog. Because <laughs> not everyone wants children. Page of Cups, little Parisian twank. <laughs> Knight of Cups, these are beautiful cards. We have Queen of Cups. I love the color palette for this next card. So the Ace of Swords. I love that color palette. That's gorgeous. The two. Three. I love that this is not a pip deck. I think I would have cried myself to sleep if it were a pip deck. So lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just breathtaking. I'm obsessed with it. It's contemporary in a way that isn't obnoxious. Um, I, there's a lot of contemporary decks out there that I just don't vibe with because I feel like they are too far crossing the barrier into what is modern. They, they feel like stuck in a very specific time period rather than timeless. This feels timeless, but still contemporary. Two of Wands, a little bird person. I like that some of the cards are portrayed as bird people. <laughs> oh, how lovely. I love the colors. I know I've said that like a million times already, but I do. I love the colors. We have the Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Oh, okay. And Seven of Wands. Oh, I just realized, okay, so the back of the cards looks more like this fleshy tone color. The extra cards are more pink. So, sorry. Eight of Wands. 
What is up with that bird? Weird, okay. Nine of Wands. Oh, I love the colors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so annoying. I just keep saying the same thing. Page of Wands. She's got a kitty cat. We have another trans man for the King of Wands. Somebody with top surgery scars. Very cool. Ace of Pentacles. love this three of pentacles i wish there were other people present in this card because i think that's a very important element for the three of pentacles is that there are other people present <clears throat> excuse me five we have the six of pentacles Nine. Oh, I love the little snail on their head. Page of Pentacles. Night. Queen. And King. And then as I said before, we have two extra cards. So this one is just the front of the tarot. I like that this wasn't a repeated card. I like that this wasn't a card in the deck um, because it's just a thing for me. I like when decks have like a unique image that encompasses all of the deck as the cover of the box. Um, so this wasn't a repeated card. I, I appreciate that. And oh, they have a little note, a little note from the creator. So this says, hello, I'm so glad this deck has found a new home and really hope you like it. This is my most special project and it took years to make 2016 to 2022. Oh my God. It's a long time. <laughs> it is inspired by love and queerness and so many emotions. Please enjoy. Love, Esso. Or so. Oh my god, that's so lovely. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put these two cards aside. That is so sweet and amazing. Let me do the shuffle test now. Let's see how it shuffles. Ooh, it's a little slippery. Let's try that again. Okay, yeah. What would I rate this deck? Um, nine point five out of ten. Almost a perfect score. I really want to give it a ten out of ten, but um, I I have to be fair. And there were one one or two cards that I felt that they were missing key elements um, that are important important to the interpretation of those cards. Um, namely the Three of Pentacles, and I think there's one other that I felt that way with. Um, but it's a very small, like, nitpicky kind of thing, because most of them do have the most essential uh, symbols required for each, well not required, but you know, like, that are typical for each card. Um, <clears throat> I think that the images are gorgeous, they're breathtaking, I love the colors, I like the texture of the deck, it shuffles very well. Um, I like the, uh, the, the, excuse me, the diverse representation. And I think most of the tarot symbols um, that are necessary for each card are present. So, and I love that the deck, the cover of the box that it comes in is a different image. Um, and yeah, I, I, would I recommend this to a beginner? 
honestly yeah i mean the only thing that you might be missing a little bit of is uh the alchemical color associations um in which case there's still a lot of like the same colors that are threaded through on these cards they're just um they're just less traditional hues of that color um like the emperor they have like a more pale red instead of like a really hard red but it's still red and it still carries the symbolism of that color um so with that being said 9.5 out of 10 if i am not being a jerk about it then 10 out of 10. so thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um i have or leave a comment i have an entire playlist on my channel about tarot lenormand and oracle decks um if you want to check those out and i have more decks to come and i will leave all my social media and links in the description below and i will see you in my next video bye